Why sugar is bad for your body? We will discuss the impact of sugar on your body and how it can contribute to the development and growth of cancer cells. First, let's talk about what happens when you consume sugar. When you eat sugary foods and drinks, your body breaks down the sugar into glucose, which is a type of sugar that your cells use for energy. However, when you consume too much sugar, your body may not be able to use all of the glucose for energy, and instead, the excess glucose is converted into fat and stored in your body. This can lead to weight gain, which is a risk factor for many types of cancer. In addition, when your body has too much glucose, it can also lead to insulin resistance, which is a condition where your body is unable to use insulin effectively. Insulin is a hormone that helps to regulate your blood sugar levels, and when your body becomes insulin resistant, your blood sugar levels can become elevated, which can increase your risk of developing various diseases, including cancer. Now, you might be wondering how sugar can specifically contribute to the development and growth of cancer cells. The answer lies in the way that cancer cells use glucose for energy. Unlike normal cells, cancer cells have a unique metabolic process that allows them to thrive in an environment with high levels of glucose. This process is called the Warburg effect, and it involves the cancer cells converting glucose into energy through a process called glycolysis, even in the presence of oxygen. This means that cancer cells are able to consume large amounts of glucose and use it to fuel their growth and division. In fact, research has shown that many types of cancer cells rely heavily on glucose for their energy needs. So, what does this mean for your health? Well, if you consume a diet that is high in sugar, you may be providing the fuel that cancer cells need to grow and divide. In addition, research has shown that consuming a high sugar diet can also increase inflammation in the body, which is another risk factor for cancer. When your body is in a state of chronic inflammation, it can damage your cells and DNA which can increase your risk of developing cancer. So, what can you do to reduce your sugar intake and protect your body from the harmful effects of sugar? The first step is to become aware of the sugar content in the foods and drinks that you consume. Many processed foods and drinks contain hidden sugars, so it is important to read food labels and look for products that are low in sugar or free of added sugars. This can include choosing water or unsweetened beverages instead of soda or juice, and opting for whole foods instead of processed snacks and desserts. Another way to reduce your sugar intake is to limit your consumption of refined carbohydrates. Foods such as white bread, pasta, and rice are broken down into glucose very quickly in the body, which can cause a rapid increase in blood sugar levels. Instead, choose whole grains such as brown rice, quinoa, and whole wheat bread which are broken down more slowly in the body and can help to regulate your blood sugar levels. It is also important to maintain a healthy weight and engage in regular physical activity, as both of these factors can help to reduce your risk of developing cancer and other chronic diseases. In addition to reducing your sugar intake and making healthy lifestyle choices, there are also certain foods and supplements that can help to reduce inflammation in the body and support your immune system. For example, foods such as leafy greens, berries, and fatty fish contain antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds that can help to protect your cells from damage and reduce inflammation in the body. Supplements such as vitamin D, curcumin, found in turmeric, and omega-3 fatty acids, found in fish oil, have also been shown to have anti-inflammatory properties. It's important to note that while reducing your sugar intake and making healthy lifestyle choices can help to reduce your risk of developing cancer, there is no guarantee that you will never develop cancer. Cancer is a complex disease with many different factors that can contribute to its development. However, by making healthy choices and reducing your exposure to potential risk factors, you can give your body the best chance to stay healthy and prevent cancer from developing. In conclusion, sugar is bad for your body, and it can contribute to the development and growth of cancer cells. Consuming a diet that is high in sugar can lead to weight gain, insulin resistance, and inflammation, all of which are risk factors for cancer. To protect your body from the harmful effects of sugar, it's important to reduce your sugar intake, choose whole foods instead of processed snacks and desserts, and engage in regular physical activity. In addition, incorporating anti-inflammatory foods and supplements into your diet can also help to reduce inflammation in the body and support your immune system. By taking these steps, you can give your body the best chance to stay healthy and prevent cancer from developing.
Thank you for watching, and I hope this video has been helpful in educating you about the impact of sugar on your body and your health. Like, share, and subscribe for more content.